Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about sunscreen and why you guys should be wearing sunscreen every single day of your lives. I'm gonna be talking about why you need to wear it, whether you're going outside, whether it's raining outside, whether you're staying indoors, or if you're going to the beach and pretty much just all the information that I know about sunscreen. I'm gonna be telling you guys what UVA is, what UVB is, what SPF is, and how to find the perfect sunscreen for your skin type, whether you have oily, dry, sensitive skin, whether you're 10 years old or 50 years old. So I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things in this video. If there's anything that I did not mention though, please let me know in the comments section below so we can all learn from each other and as always, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you know the drill. Hit the subscription box below so you never ever miss a video from me. So I'm going to jump straight into it. There are two types of UV rays. UV stands for ultraviolet rays. So there is UVA and UVB. UVA rays are rays that we are exposed to all the time. You might not necessarily feel like you're being exposed to UVA rays, um, but these actually do like the long-term damage. So this is probably when you've got your lights on indoors or something like, you know, where you can't really feel like you've got sun on your, your, your face. Uh, UVB is like the sunlight which is directly hitting your face. And UVB rays cause those like instant effects. So sun pigmentation, melasma, sun damage, sunburn, cancer, all these things are caused by UVB rays. And these we can feel instantly or very, very soon after we've been exposed to UVB rays. So the way to pretty much work around it is to look for a sunscreen that covers both UVA and UVB. So something that is broad spectrum. So I've got a lot of sunscreens. I use a lot of different sunscreens and I try out a lot of different formulations. So I, when I look for a sunscreen, I look out for something that says UVA and UVB broad spectrum. So when you have that um, in a product, you know that you're covered for both sort of ultraviolet rays. The other thing you wanna look out for is the SPF. So SPF stands for sun protection factor, and this is generally like a number. So SPF 10, 15, 30, 50, sometimes even 100. So does that mean like, should we get 100 or should we get 10 or 15? It's very, very confusing. But the rule of thumb is that you wanna look for something between 30 to 50, plus so 30 to 50 plus gives you about 98 percent of sun coverage or sun protection and you will be fine if you wear something around 30 to 50 when i feel like something lower than 30 um like 20 is still okay but something lower is not as strong you know not as um, effective and it, you're gonna have to reapply all the time and you probably won't get the best effects so when you're buying one just look out for spf 50 plus or spf 30 plus to make sure that your skin is protected now every sunscreen has a different sort of formulation so we've got chemical sunscreens and we've also got physical sunscreens so physical sunscreens are very good for sensitive skin they are very like gentle and when you apply them on your skin you will actually get an instant um, like sun protection because they're physically applied if you've seen those like videos where you um, people apply like sunscreen and then they put a filter on your face and you can see that they've applied like a black sort of lotion protecting them from the sun I'm gonna try to find it and put it in this video that is a physical sunscreen so physical sunscreen generally contain ingredients like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So these are great because they're good for sensitive skin and all that. But the big problem, the big, big problem with a lot of physical sunscreen is that they have a white cast. So this is the physical sunscreen that I've got in my hands. And when you apply it to your skin, you can see that it actually creates a white cast. So this is the sun uh, light right in front of me. And you can see that even though I'm gonna blend it out, 
it's creating a white cast and unfortunately that does not really suit people with darker skin tones so even for me this is too white and so I actually use this formulation for my one-year-old child because it's really gentle she doesn't really care what's happening and it's gonna give out her the most protection but for myself I look for something which is a hybrid sunscreen so a hybrid is a mix of like chemical and physical it's like the best of both worlds and something like that would actually be invisible on your skin so on this hand I'm gonna show you what a um, chemical and physical mixed looks like so it will actually blend in very very nicely so ingredients like titanium dioxide zinc oxide they're really great but you want to make sure that there's not too many so as you can see this hand has got a white cast and this one is my actual skin tone and there is a major difference I have gone out in public wearing this and it looks really, really horrible. It just looks like you're a clown or something. So when you go out to look for a sunscreen, try to get a hybrid formulation, which doesn't give you a white cast because if you have a white cast, then when you put on makeup, if you wanna wear makeup afterwards, it's going to pretty much affect the way your makeup looks. It will look like it's white. So I use this for my child, but for myself, I prefer something which is invisible, something that you can't really see on the skin. So that's what you guys want to look out for. I will try to put in uh, chemical names so you guys can pretty much look for ingredients and just see, you know, the best sort of formulation for you. So one thing that I think is really um, confusing for a lot of people is how to in incorporate sunscreen into their everyday routine. So every single morning, once you wash your face, you wanna actually apply your moisturizer and then sunscreen. Sunscreen should be the last step of your routine. And then if you want to apply makeup, then you can apply your normal primer and then the rest of your face. So the best thing to do is apply your sunscreen, maybe wait a couple of minutes and then apply your makeup. So guys, sunscreens come in so many different variations. You can get gels, creams, um, like invisible ones, really dry touch ones. So what you wanna do is you wanna think about your skin type. If you've got oily skin, you wanna look at gel formulations or something which has a dry touch. There are a few that I recommend. La Roche-Posay have a very good um, light sunscreen, it's called, and it's really like lotion-y. But when you apply it on your skin, it's not oily at all. And same with um, a lot of the gel ones. I've got a really good one from COSRX. And that's an aloe vera one. And that one also absorbs in into your skin. It won't leave it oily. But for someone like me, someone with sensitive, someone with dry skin, I actually look out for uh, cream formulations. So cream sunscreens help me because then I don't have to apply as much of moisturizer. So I can get away with just getting sunscreens, which come in a tub like this and then and their cream I can put it and these are non greasy so when you want to look out for sunscreen packages you want to look out for the term non greasy and that won't give you any oily finishes as well sunscreens also come in compacts and these are really great as well I really love this Korean compact and this one I use underneath my makeup all the time and I feel like it gives me like Obviously you can't see it, but it really gives me a good base for my makeup. So this this sort of sunscreen is a Korean chemical sunscreen. And then these are like Australian, this is an Australian physical sunscreen and this is an Australian physical and chemical sunscreen. So every country actually has different sorts of sunscreens according to their UV index. So every country you gotta look out for, you know, where you live. If the sun exposure is really high, if your UV index is high, you should be covered. You should definitely wear an SPF 30 or 50 plus. Like in Australia, it's actually really, really bad. It's very, very high. And so we have to be very careful if I don't wear sunscreen for one week, I get prominent sunspots right over here and then I have to treat them with remedies. So the best thing to do is prevent them, right? So you wanna prevent skin damage before it happens instead of wasting money fixing it. So that's what I would recommend for every single age. You should have a good sunscreen on hand. You should wear every single day. Now, the other thing that you um, want to do is 
eliminate just wearing makeup that has sunscreen. So I know a lot of people get confused because their foundation says it has SPF 20 or SPF 30 or their powder might say that it's got SPF. But the problem is that you have to use a huge amount of those powders or foundations to actually get any coverage so we can't physically wear that much we will use like one or two pumps maximum on our skin um, to actually get the uv protection you would have to use like five pumps or something you would have to use a lot of it so the best thing to do is just wear a sunscreen and then put your makeup on top so some brands which i really recommend are um so these sunsense ones are really good but i think they're just australian or australian uh, sunscreens uh, australian sunscreens also contain cancer cancel ones they're very good hamilton is also a great brand hamilton have a toddler sunscreen which is a roll-on which i use for inaya as well if you are living a, like not in australia um, in other countries la roche posay avene have a very good sunscreen and super goop has a very good sunscreen if you live in the usa biosense which is a all natural brand have a very good sunscreen which is actually chemical and physical and that is one that is really good for darker skin tones because I've actually tried it a while back and that one won't leave a cast on your face whatsoever the other sunscreens which I really like is um, two Korean ones so actually this VT compact one is very good but I can't find it online anymore to get in Australia the um, Claire's UV essence sunscreen which I actually have shared in my stories on instagram if you don't follow my instagram go ahead and follow it that one is a very good one as well and cosrx aloe vera sunscreen is actually one of my favorite sunscreens so that is what you want to look out for if you are um yeah according to your skin types but definitely look out for a higher like 30 to 50 plus something that says broad spectrum that says uva and uvb protection and last but not least reapplying so if you are going into water you need to reapply after every two to four hours it depends on your skin and how quickly it burns and there's a, a lot of information online about that but during the day the problem with me even is that once I apply my skincare in the morning and then I do my foundation and everything I don't reapply my sunscreen so it's really important to reapply every four hours at least to keep getting the protection from the sun so something like this which is tinted i feel like works really well so something like um a foundation or a tint like a sunscreen tint I feel like it doesn't ruin your foundation. Um, if you apply the tint on, on top of your skin, it doesn't really move your makeup around unless you've got heavy, heavy makeup. I don't really wear heavy makeup. So something like this actually just looks like I've applied a little, bo a little bit more powder. And then you can actually set it with a powder that has SPF. So that is what I would recommend um, in terms of reapplying you know, your sunscreen during the day. So guys, that was my nitty gritty on sunscreens and how you should find the perfect perfect sunscreen for your skin type i didn't really show too many products but i can definitely do an in-depth review of sunscreen brands that you guys recommend to me or you want me to try out as always don't forget to leave a comment down below and tell me if you enjoyed my video or learned something from this video go ahead and share and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching guys bye